Good morning, Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist, Baird Vince, and we've been tracking this low pressure trough continue to make its way further to the east, decreasing temperatures the past few days, but now mostly out to the east. We're seeing some dry, warmer air here on the western slope. We're going to be increasing in temperature throughout the next few days for beautiful conditions ahead. That live tower cam, we're waiting on that sun to start rise, but we're seeing clear skies already. We're at a chilly 29 degrees right now, though, and hour by hour increasing in temperature to those upper 50s by 4 p.m., but we're going to be remaining quite chilly for the next few hours. Taking a look at that school bus forecast in the 20s for the next couple of hours and then 30s by the early, late, the mid-morning hours. But overall, I mean, bundle up as you're headed out the door. That's all I can tell you. It's quite cold. Rain potential throughout the northwest coupled with some snow potential as well as we've been tracking this low pressure uh, system moving in some moisture off the Pacific Ocean. I mentioned this yesterday, but seeing the effects throughout today and to the afternoon for showers and snow in the higher elevations in southern Canada. But radar here on the western slopes looking really clear. And this is going to be the case, taking a look ahead, not really much expected, just a little bit of cloud coverage throughout the next few days, mostly going to be in the overnight hours and early morning hours, clearing up in the afternoon, going to help us warm up to some really nice temperatures. Temperatures dropping mostly out to the east from this low pressure system, really bringing in that cold air off of the north and out to the west, beautiful conditions ahead, dry air, warmer air as well moving throughout and as we go throughout the next few days this is going to kind of level out becoming more of a westerly flow increasing that dry air movement throughout the next few days to help us warm up upper 50s here in Grand Junction Delta and Nucla everywhere else kind of in those mid 50s 49 in Gunnison tonight getting down into the 30s and 20s for a cold night ahead still going to be remaining below zero on or not below zero below freezing on Whew, man, I'm glad we're not below zero, but we are going to be below freezing in most of these regions throughout the western slope. Tomorrow, right back in the 60s, beautiful conditions ahead, 60s in Grand Junction, Delta, Nucla, higher elevations remaining in the 50s, but overall we're going to gradually increase as we go throughout the next few days. Showers to the northwest as we monitor this low pressure continue to bring in that moisture up there and everywhere else throughout the United States clear. We got dry air on the way to the western slope and increasing temperatures as we approach the weekend for beautiful conditions ahead. Plenty of sunshine coupled with some clouds, but mostly going to be sunny in the afternoon, cloudy in the overnight hours, below freezing for tonight at some points and then 60s by this weekend. Beautiful conditions ahead 66 for Saturday. Can you believe that we were down in the 20s earlier and now looking like we're going to be warming up to those really nice temperatures. Montrose slightly cooler in those mid 50s for today and then warming up to lower 60s by Friday and Saturday for a beautiful next few days.